Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 14. Let's take one more example. 4th, 10th and 16th term of a GP are X, Y and Z. And we have to prove that X, Y, Z are in GP. So let's take a AP, a GP where the terms are in this form A, AR, AR square, AR cube. That is, the first term is A and R is the ratio. So T4, fourth term is nothing but A, 4 minus 1, that is A into R to the power 4 minus 1, that is AR cube. That is the fourth term. When you're talking about tenth term, this is 4. 10th that is nothing but a into r to the power 10 minus 1 that is a r to the power 9 similarly when talking about 60 16th term this t16 is nothing but a into r to the power 16 minus 1 that is a r to the power 50 so we have fourth term 10th term and 16th term we are told that these are equal to x, y and z. That is, this is equal to x, this is equal to y and this is equal to z. And we have to prove that x, y, z are in GP. So we know that since 4th, 10th and 16th sum are in GP, so we can say that t of 10 whole square is equal to t of 4 into t of 16 because these are in GP. Or we can say t of 10 whole square is a r to the power 9 whole square is equal to t of 4 is a r to the power 3 and t of 16 is a r to the power 50. So what we get a square r 18 is equal to a square r 18 and we see these are equal. That means t 10 is x t ten is y sorry y square is equal to x z so we have proved that y square is equal to x z that means that 4th 10th and 16th terms are in g please note we were given we were told that 4th term 10th term and 6th terms are x y and z respectively now we have to prove that x y z are in gp to prove that we have to prove that y square is equal to x z so to prove this if you say y square is nothing but a r to the power 9 square because y is nothing but t10 and this is nothing but a r cube x is a r cube into a r 15 that is t16 so we have proved that this is equal that is y square is equal to x n so with this we can conclude that x y z are in gp let's solve one question on gp we are told that 500 rupees was deposited in a bank and this bank gives 10% compounded annually interest what will be the value after 10 years we know that we have this formula that uh, total amount t amount after year t it's suppose after year t is nothing but principal amount into 1 plus rate of interest by 100 to the power t so if you put the value of P, P is 500 by 1 plus R is 10 by 100 to the power T. That is nothing but 500 into 1 plus 1 to the power T. Because 1 by 1 plus 10 by 100 is nothing but 1.1 because this becomes 0.1, 1 plus 0.1 equal to 1.1 T. So at any given point of time the amount is 500 into 1 plus 1 by this question we can solve directly also we can just put the value of t as 10 years and we'll get the answer but why we want to solve this question was because we wanted to show that in such case we have a pattern of gp so let's suppose this is uh, after first year this is second year third year Fourth year, test, test, test. 
is 10 there. So here the amount will be 500 into 1.1. This will be 500 into 1.1 square. This will be 500 into 1 plus Q because T is equal to 3 here. T is equal to 2 here. Similarly here it will be 500 into 1.1 to the power 4 here. And here it will be 500 into 1.1 to the power 10. So this is a GP. You see if you divide this by this what you get is 1.1. Similarly if you divide this third year value by second year you get 1.1. This is the GP. So GP, we know that T of n is nothing but a r to the power n minus 1. Correct. So here a is 500, r is 1.1 uh, and n is 11. Why 11? Because this starts from 0. If you say a here, this one or you take this series only. A is 5, 5 into 1.1. This is A. If you take this GP, this is A. R is again 1.1 to the power N minus 1. N is again 10 here, minus 1. So this is nothing but 500 into 1.1 into into, into 1 1.1 to the power 9. And that is nothing but rupees 500 into 1.1 to the power 10. That is the value. We could have, please note, we could have solved this question directly. If you, if you just put the value of t here, t is equal to 10 here, we get the answer. But why we took this problem was, we wanted to prove that in case of compounded annually, the value you get or the amount of money you have in your bank over a period of time is a GP. And we have proved this, that in first year, the amount was this, second year, the amount was this. And if you divide the amount, which was there in second year by the amount which was there in second first year you get r and that r is constant so it is a g let's take one more similar example again the 500 rupees was deposited for 10 years but this time the bank pays annual interest of 100 rupees here the interest is fixed so if we see it will be something like this after end of first year it will be 500 only the moment next year starts, this will become 500 plus 100 because 100 rupees interest he has got. Then it will become 500 plus 100, whatever he has in the past one year plus 100. So this is 0th year, this is end of first year, end of first year, this is second year. Again, you add this will become 500 plus 100 plus 100, whatever you got in this year plus 100. This is third year keeps on going. Also we can say this has nothing but this is 500, this is 600, this is 700, 800, this is 900, this is this. So if you see this is nothing but an AP because the difference, the difference between this and this is 100, the difference between this and this is also 100, the difference between 800 and 700 is also 100 and here also 800 and 900 difference is 100. So this is a classical example of AB. Now we have to find what was the value at the end of 10 years. This is 0th year, 1st year, 2nd year, 3rd year. So we have to find the value at the end of 10 year. So we will start with this GP, this one, because this is 1 here for us. So here for us the A is 500 plus 100, that is 600. D is 100 and n is 10 because this is first, this is second, this is third and they will have something 10th also. We have a, we have d, we have to find the value of, uh, we have n, we have to find the value of t at n. That will be a plus n minus 1 d. This is 600 plus 10 minus 1 into d, 100. That is 600 plus this is 10 sorry 9 into 100 that is that is 900 plus 600 1500 so at the end of 10 years what he'll be getting is 1500 rupees
please note what we have done we have just written the values which uh, the money which you will be having over a period of time we found that this forms an ap then we got this a because we are starting from here if we start from this point a becomes 500 itself but here the n becomes 11 because we are starting from 0 to to avoid confusion we are starting from this point first n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 10 and we have got the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again